Recording. Is it recording? Okay. Sweet. I love tech <laughs> when it stuffs up, eh? I've done so much editing. Yes. And great. you just lose things every now and then, and you just have to, you just, you, you can't get angry. You just have to do it again. That's part of it. Everyone who does some kind of editing or um, podcast is going to go through some kind of technical issue like that. Okay. Right. Let's go. Right. Uh, okay. Shannon, welcome to Surfing Stuff, this YouTube channel of mine. Uh, this is a series called, for, for the viewers here, Great Surfing Characters. And Shannon Ainsley is a great surfing character. He hails from South Africa, a place called, it's Nahoon, eh? Yeah. Nahoon. Yeah. From Nahoon Reef in uh, East London, South Africa. Um, Shannon. Thank you for stopping off here on your way from Lufoten back down to Stavanger. We're in Norway, if you don't know. Um, yeah, thank. Where have you? What, what were you doing in Lufoten? Were you you're obviously coaching? Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, so I was in Lufoten for just a few days, running a weekend surf camp, like a pop-up surf camp with some clients. Okay. So doing some surf coaching and video analysis, and just before that, I was in Taiwan, Taiwan. doing coaching and Iceland wow. before that. So. A lot of traveling, which is nice. And right now I'm driving down from Lofoten to Stavanger, and that's like a three day drive. Okay. Uh, always nice to stop here and to see you. It's so always, thanks it's, for having me. Uh, it's fantastic to, you know what? Uh, this is the first episode in the series that, uh, that we've had a, someone sitting next to me instead of a zoom meeting or a Google meet meeting. Um, Shannon, you were also in Denmark not too long ago too. Yeah, I was. Oh, w where, I did you, about that. where did you surf there? Um, just outside of Klitbola, it was uh, Varupo. I don't know how to, how to say Do it that, correctly. That's what they call the, 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 the cold, cold Hawaii. Cold Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never been. Maybe I should go. What do you think? And actually, it was super fun. They have mostly beach breaks. Okay. But um, super nice, fun wedges and corners here and there. Okay. And um, yeah, we had some good waves and a really good turnout for the coach. And people love it there. Wow. Very cool. And, and just, just something a bit more localized. How were you with the, the, the with the Danish language? <laughs> well, yeah, it's. Um, I mean, I could speak. I, I can speak Norwegian, so I can communicate with some Danes. But yeah, we just spoke English because it's a bit, it's a bit easier, different yeah. than okay. Norwegian. Okay, right, Shannon. I want to change the direction of this in, this this interview a little bit. You're from South Africa. You've been surfing for a long, long time since you were at Lati. It is common knowledge that you that you suffered a double shark attack at Nahoon. Just briefly, can you just run through the that morning? That just I know it might evoke some emotions. Um, that's not my intention to do that. But just can you run through that briefly, and then um, how's life been after that? I know you've got a book. Shannon's got a book here that you need to get hold of. It's called uh, Child of the Wild Coast put out by a guy called Charles E. Allen III. Um, you can get this book. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Just, you, you know, don't tell us the whole book, but like yeah. that morning, just run through that morning with us. Yeah. So um, first day I started surfing when I was 13 years old and okay. growing up in East London and surfing the Hoon was amazing because we get so many good waves. Okay. But it's also known as a shark infested region, especially Hi, Nahoon Reef. Sure, 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 yeah. And so Nahoon Reef was always a feared place for me. Like I, I was too scared to surf there in the beginning, but it's such a good wave. Everyone talks about it and it's got this hype about it. And eventually I fell into temptation and I <laughs> surfed the wave with my friends. And it's an amazing wave. Like it's got so much more power. It's a nice long ride, but people get attacked by sharks every now and then. Oh, and yeah. So when I was 15 years old, I was surfing there uh, in the afternoon, yeah. actually. 
Um, and at about 1.30 in the afternoon, I was attacked by these two four meter great white sharks that just came from me. One from the left, one from the right, unexpectedly, and it's all caught on camera. I think we did a story about this already, and most people probably know about it. Um, and it was the scariest moment and the best moment in my life because it totally changed my life. And uh, um, and then, yeah, after that, I just feel like I found more purpose through surfing and okay. it actually caused me to become a surf coach because okay. when I was 19 years old I moved to Jeffrey's Bay did a, a surfers bible school with Des Sawyer okay. and started giving free surf lessons because I wanted to use surfing as a tool to make a difference because okay. we all know that surfing is and can be kind of therapeutical as well mm -hmm. so that's yep. what I did and um, and that's how I became a surf coach because I kind of got quite busy and I was like I need to make some money now so i just charge people to come for surf lessons okay. and you know that's how i became a surf coach and um it's it's been the best uh, thing that's happened to me okay cool now you okay so that's the, the 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 event on the day of the shark attack you're a surf coach now tell tell us a bit more about your role in norwegian surfing how do you fit in there and yeah, how do you fit in there, and, and and where do you see, and maybe this is a deep question, where do you see Norwegian surfing going? So how do you fit in, and where do you see Team Norway in the future? Yeah, so I've been in Norway for quite a while now, and just two years ago I started my own surf coaching business where I do in-person and online surf coaching, okay. and a lot of pop-up camps and collaborations with people around the world, and it's been super fun. Uh, in Norway, I do coaching primarily with just normal individual people who do okay. not compete. They just want to progress and get better. So I help them with that. And then on top of that, I do work with the junior and the senior national team. Okay. Or have done that for several years. And we do some training in Stavanger and Lofoten okay. and then go to the World Surfing Games every now and then. Okay. Um, the level of surfing in Norway is not high because it's kind of a new and young sport and not many juniors surf sure. so we've actually recruited some juniors to represent norway from like australia and costa rica and one or two okay. other places and they're pretty good so um uh the future i mean i'd say the future can look bright but isn't looking bright right now there okay. is a lot of potential for sure okay um, but right now it's not looking too bright we just need um some changes in certain structures in the Norwegian surfing. Okay. Um, and it's actually started. It started already, which is pretty good. So we'll see what it looks like in the future. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's been super fun. Uh, um, the waves are pretty good in some parts of Norway, especially the further north you go. Oh boy, yes, and, I know. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we get some waves in Stavanger next week when you come visit me. Yeah, my little, my eldest daughter is having her first surf lesson with Shannon down in Stavanger. That's going to be. You know, she won't listen to dad, but she'll listen to Shannon. You know how it goes with kids. So we headed down there next week. Shannon, I see you wearing a, a Noruna shirt. Yes. Now, can you explain to the to the folks that don't know what Noruna is and what's that company all about and how do you fit into their ambassadorship scheme? Yeah, so I'm an ambassador for, Nor, for Noruna. And um, it's a Norwegian brand that focuses mostly on outdoor and adventure um, sport like biking, climbing, hiking, okay. running, skiing, snowboarding, and maybe one or two other things. And okay. they're also into surfing now. So they've made wetsuits, boots, gloves, and uh, even starting to make some board shorts. So they make a lot of cool things. Wow. Okay. And their slogan is welcome to nature. So it's okay. all about being outside, outdoors, being adventurous and exploring. And it's been super fun to collaborate with them. And uh, they're super keen on growing in surfing. So we'll see what happens in the future okay. with the surfing side of Norona. Oh, fantastic. Shannon, I know you, you've got to get back on the road and get going. One, one more last uh, question, if I may. Before we came on here, you were speaking about the Maldives. Now, you're doing a trip there soon. How do people join you on that Maldives trip? Are you going to be on a boat? Yeah. How do they how do they connect with you? What's the contact deets? Are there places still? Just tell us a bit more about that. Sure. Um, yeah. So I go to the Maldives in four weeks. Okay. Unfortunately. 
um, and yeah, the first week's going to be on an island where I train some surfers to become level one instructors. Okay. So I do collaborate with the ISA too, where I accredit surfers to become instructors or coaches. And then after that, I'm on a boat for 32 days, something like Aish. that. Or 33 That's days. Yeah, so condolences, bro. Uh, That's actually, terrible. 33 days, yeah. So it's actually... Not that bad, but it can be difficult to be on a boat for that long. But <laughs> yes. I'm running three 10 day surf camps okay. and surfing epic waves, like on a boat, moving around from the central to the southern atolls, okay. looking for uncrowded surf spots and perfect waves. Okay. And it's so nice to coach there because the waves are that perfect. Wow. So okay. the feedback that gets good and uh, the progress is like okay. almost immediate. And are there any slots, are there places left? There are no places left for Aish, this one, unfortunately. Aish, Aish, Aish. And I'm back there in September as well, that's also full. Okay. So people love going there. But for next year, if anyone wants to join one of these uh, boat surf camps, then you can contact me on uh, surfcoach.no or on Shannon Ainsley on my okay. Instagram. Okay, lekker. Well, uh, Shannon, I know you got to, I've said it once, you got to get back on the road. Thanks for stopping in. It's all, our family always welcomes Shannon. Shannon, when you're in here, uh, it's always great to have him here. We have a meal together, and it's it's awesome. Um, Shannon, thanks for stopping by, making this interview possible. Uh, this is uh, this is episode five in the Great Surfing Characters lineage. If you haven't seen one to four already, please do that. It's in the playlist down below, and Shannon's details will be in the description box if you want to connect with Shannon. He's also, you on Facebook, WhatsApp and all that, eh? Yeah. Okay. All these details will be down below. Please check it out. Shannon, shot brew. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having me. I'll see okay. you in Stavanger. Yep, next week. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Fantastic. Cool. Let's oh. see if it worked. It'll be, <gasps> it'll be funny if it didn't. Eh?